What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> Just a disclaimer before the video starts, I was sent these switches uh, for an honest review. Information on the group buy and the switches will be in my description below. What is good everyone, Shoops here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at these sons of bitches. <laughs> these are the prototype version of the Azure Dragon switches manufactured by Gatoron. Now these names are actually going full anime mode, I swear to god. The next switch coming out will be called Azure Dragon, Fist of the Holy Pandas, Phoenix Reborn, Breath of the Zillius or some fucking shit. Anyways, a little information on the switches. These uh, switches feature a PC top and nylon bottom with a palm stem. You know, your usual bread and butter combination. However, I've been told by the person uh, running these that they feature a new mold from other Gatoron switches, which is said to be an improved KSI, uh, KSI, <laughs> KS9 mold apparently, um, but you know, that I can't confirm that for sure. These switches also feature an elongated pole with a two-stage spring with a 63 gram actuation and 67 gram bottom out. On top is the two-stage spring, and on the bottom is a regular cherry-length uh, spring. And in all sense of That's the word, big. these have some real long boy components. Impressive. Like always, we'll be comparing these switches to some of the popular lin uh, not linear tactiles in the market. Uh, T1s, Kiwis, Taro Balls, Cherry Max Browns, Bubba U4Ts, Celios, Ergo Clears, Holy Pandas, and Moyu Blacks. Looking at the picture of the stems, uh, please excuse the Azure Dragon, which is a little slanted, uh, but you can see that the length of the Azure Dragon stem uh, pole is equal, or yeah, it's pretty much in line with all the other elongated pole uh, switches, such as the Halos, U4Ts, and Moyu Blacks, uh, compared to the regulars, which is everything else. Let's do a quick stem wobble test. It's gonna be scuffed as hell, and I just wanna say, uh, switch variants, batch variants, it all matters. This isn't accurate at all. Just going to give you a brief idea. Um, so it's just scuffed as hell. But these new Azure Dragons seem pretty tight. Celios is a bit more wobbly. Um, T1s, a little bit wobbly. Tower Balls, decent. Uh, Kiwis, pretty good. Moyu Blacks, pretty good. Ergo clears, a bit wobbly, but I'll buy you for tees, nice and tight, holy pandas, a little wobbly but still pretty tight, and then cherry max browns, a bit wobbly, uh, but you know, this is just for reference, it's not going to be 100% accurate or accurate at all, so there's that. Like always, we'll be t uh, testing each of the switches on the Z position of the keyboard because the position affects the sound. And please keep in mind that sound tests are not accurate, it's just here for reference, everyone's case. Uh, room acoustics, lubing technique, yada yada yada, everything's different, so uh, take this with a grain of salt.
So before we start, everything that I say here is just solely of my own opinion and my observations after testing the switches and comparing them to uh, many of the other switches that I've tried. So in terms of the strength of the tactile feel, I would say that the Azure Dragons fall in between um, JWK uh, Ergo like stems as on the actual ergo clears they're on the lighter side of the tactile uh tactility uh t1s and azelios holy pandas u4ts all these other guys are way stronger than these uh desert dragons however i want to note that the feeling of the tactile bump itself is actually very similar to the long pole style uh, tactile switches such as the Holy Panda, Boboyu 4Ts and Moyu Blacks has that uh, short travel distance as well as harsher bottom out due to the longer pole as well as that signature sort of loud uh, sound to the switch. Um, I would say that this is a good option for people that want a lighter uh, tactile feedback but um, it's feeling that's similar to that of U4T's Holy Pandas, uh, Holy Pandas and uh, Moyu Blacks. So uh, the springs on these uh, Azure Dragons are quite interesting. They are a two-stage spring. Uh, this is actually one of the first switches that I've tried with this uh, type of spring. Uh, so to give a little example, the first spring, the shortest one right here is the Cherry. It's the standard length Cherry uh, length spring. The second one is a slow spring, which is longer, and then these bad boys, the two-stage ones, are the longest. Uh, I would say that the feeling, it's like hard to describe actually. So essentially, the two-stage spring is like a combination, I guess, of uh, this. I, I'm not, I'm not 100% positive because I have like very little experience with these springs, but to me, it feels like the top is that of a linear spring and the bottom is sort of like a slow spring essentially it's like a dual stage spring where it's quite linear feeling at the top where and it becomes harsh uh not harsher but heavier at the bottom um sort of like a progressive in a sense but not really <laughs> i can't really say much except try it out for yourself but overall i feel like the switch feeling is a bit bouncier per se maybe <laughs> I, I don't know i might be just talking out my ass here but like it feels a little bouncier because it is light at the top or it feels lighter at the top and the change into feeling heavier is more uh, abrupt or how do i say it more yeah like more abrupt than a slow spring did that make any sense? I don't fucking know, but that's that's just what I feel, you know. Overall, these switches are quite interesting and they're pretty damn unique. Uh, I'm happy to see Gator on coming out with more unique tactiles like this, and uh, it has a very unique feeling sort of uh, ex typing experience as well. Uh, it's like it's hard to compare it to any other um, tactile that I've tried so it's it's just a very unique switch and if you're interested it's currently in group buy and this is a prototype unit so some things are subject to change I believe uh, the stem came lubed on this on this switch which I wiped off and re -lubed, but on the uh, production units I believe they are not going to be lubed which is good Anyways guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Uh, we're almost at 25k, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, I appreciate all the support. More Switch reviews, more keyboard videos, and comedy videos on the way soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.